Hi guys, how you all doing? Today, I spent most of my day doing proposals, paperwork, emails, invoices, you know, all of that things. Then I decided to come see my friend who is from Kuwait and she comes in and out a lot uh, to Qatar for work and pleasure, just like myself. Uh, so I get to catch her this time. She's staying here at the Kempinski, so I invited her to come have dinner with me at Zengo. And Zengo is really cool. I think it's really different because the fusion of food is between South America and Asia so I'll make sure and I'll let you guys know but the food I've had every time here is amazing okay guys so I wanted to introduce you to the Fajr that I've been talking about Hello. What did you say about it? I just said, you know, you're coming in, coming in and out in the country a lot. Yeah, and I um, love it. I love it here. Yeah. I really do love Doha. She's also like saved everywhere on my phone as Fudger the lawyer. People save that about me or they refer to me because of my blog. Yeah. So, yeah. Tell them a little bit about yourself. What you do. Um, okay, I'm a lawyer based in Kuwait. I just started my own law firm called FTL Legal Services. I've been blogging for four or five years on one of Kuwait's biggest uh, blogs. And I write a column in the newspaper on a weekly basis and I've been coming to Qatar to help Kuwaiti businesses set up franchises here. Nice. Yeah. It's the double B. <laughs> oh, new Volcano Maki yeah, yeah. with a crab meat inside, they deep fry it and we serve with it two types of sauces, mayo and unagi. Oh, this, you, it's cool, look how good that looks. That looks Give me light <laughs> on the third day, he said. I like the coconut with the mushroom and chicken. Coconut uh, curry tastes really good. It's, I think, Thai inspired or Thai curry itself. 26 minutes, 47 seconds exactly. Exactly yeah. to make this. Chili chocolate pudding, grilled pineapple That's with bone milk flavor. Trust me, it's really wait, good. Wait, 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 wait. I'll take food. Oh my god. Chocolate and matcha. <laughs> it's like a heat for me. I told you, so good. It's malted. It's really mm. hot. So good. What is burnt milk? I'm not a fan of pineapples though. You try them first. It's gonna taste like pineapples on pizza. That crunchy, sweet thing. You can taste the chili. You can. It's not spicy, but you there's like a chili feeling. Yeah, there is. Would it be weird if I give you our again tomorrow for lunch? No, it wouldn't be weird. I just have only this. I have nothing to say about it. It's, everything is so good. This is my favorite. Guys, you can you can come and order this. It's called the show, show chocolate. Them how Ellie it's the chocolate chili, chili chocolate uh, pudding, so good. Their sushi is so good. The ribs, both ribs. We had short ribs and ribs ribs. They were both. Basically, this place has good food. First time, I will give it a 10 out of a 10. <laughs> Service, ambiance, food, view, everything together. 10 out of 10, it's a first. In Doha, yeah, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, there were things that I didn't like, but I don't like them anyway. Like pineapples. <laughs> and matcha. <laughs> and matcha, I don't like matcha. And Sean, you open. Am I in the right room? Go to grand and come Okay, back. waiting. Can't wait for the grand review. Is he filming my really yes. dirty apartment? Yes. Double B. Come so, yeah, this is my room. It's still nice. When the when you can see the sea and you can see the pearl from here. Mm -hmm. This view is spectacular. I don't want to say ghetto words anymore. <laughs> You cannot be a Khaliji and not have Valentino. <laughs> or Valentino. <laughs> yeah. We call the kids room. And it has its own private bathroom. I'm coming here to sleep tomorrow. You can still come here. It's so nice. Go to sleep here? It's yeah. totally fine. Bye. Bye. Love See you here. guys. This is my skin without makeup and I did the mezzo last in Moscow. Oh really? And how was it over there? It was good. Mashallah, you tell. Analyze my skin. The scars, you don't remember what you had. And you didn't take I it I remember up what I had. I, I woke up, up with it every you day. Promise. You don't remember, but I remember. Mm. It was all big, big bomb. Very minimal scarring. It's mm -hmm. not too much. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess we can work on them maybe two more times. But I think it, it, since the first session in Muscat, it looks so much better. And look, look, my face, like I don't need to wear makeup most of the days. Forget the acne that you had, even the discoloration that you had. Remember the discoloration? Mm -hmm. Now your skin is all just one color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like good. really, really great. But yes, I do see that you do have fine hair. This is the type of hair that we use for the LHB, mm. uh, laser hair bleaching. Mm -hmm. We use the machine, it's called Medlite C6. With the Medlite C6, 
Yeah. But the Meta IC6, uh, it's a machine, the type of laser that we use, it's called the NDIAG laser. Mm -hmm. It goes roughly around 1,000 nanometers into the skin, to be exact, 1,064 nanometers into the skin. And what that does is it targets only the hair color that's in, in the hair, mm -hmm. the melanin of it. And what happens is it just makes it invisible. Invisible. Exactly. Okay. We use this for baby hair, for fine hair, hair that cannot be otherwise waxed. No out. offense to silk or muscat, <laughs> but I love Jeanette and I love this place and I love the nurses, I love everyone here and the procedures here. I feel more at home. We love you too. Yes. <laughs> but don't get mad, okay? <laughs> don't be mad. <laughs> I'm ready to get my laser hair bleaching done. This is the room they usually do the procedures in. Jeanette has already briefed me on uh, how they're gonna do it, what's gonna happen, what it's gonna look like afterward. Everything that they do here is highly qualified technicians. And of course, all their facility and machines are high tech. There's no doubt in that. There's not much safety procedures when you do this. And also they say that it's not going to be painful at all. The difference between laser hair bleaching and laser hair removal is the fact that the bleaching lightens your hair whereas the removal takes it off and a lot of ladies uh, who do the removal they have thicker hair whereas the ladies or men that come in to do the bleaching have like baby hair that you just want to like get rid of it's just going to be invisible to the eye so i'm looking forward to it that's the procedure when giving the places this area but I would say only this area was you can feel the prickling like little bits of prickling that's it okay. fast it's easy it's painless and you look fabulous afterwards so why not where's the mirror extend a little bit your neckline on the right so yeah so that when you are wearing your turban uh, it just looks clear but it looks good your eyebrows are more defined because we won't hear the hair on the sides. Mm. Look where here, right? Yeah, between your forehead and the eyebrows on the sides. Yeah. So comparatively, I'm saying the prices are affordable compared to this kind of procedures here in Doha. I would highly recommend that you come into a facility like Silkor that has many branches everywhere and are known for their work rather than just go to anyone else, you know? And besides, you get 20 to 40% discount when you mention being Layla, so you can't pass up on that. So mention being Layla to access your discounts. We're on our way to Santa Monica Breakfast Club, which is a pop-up thing that's happening in Grand Hyatt. It's gonna be here for the next uh, three months. It just started last week, and I'm lucky I get to catch it, you know, while I'm here. I wanna go check it out because it's supposedly the SoCal theme. I'm also also gonna meet a friend of mine who is a super mom I wanted to talk to you guys about this picture today because I feel like I need to put my word out there and also my peace of mind and share it with other people and create awareness for every other blogger every other Muslima that's out there and facing the same thing I just want you guys to know that y'all need to stop just because we are hijabis doesn't mean we don't have a life we can't be romantic with our spouses hijab is part of being modest and that's what we're doing we're, we're trying to be modest but at the same time modern and with the world i posted that picture on valentine's day i don't even celebrate valentine's but i just wanted to post it in remembrance of my alhamdulillah good relationship with my husband for the last 10 years so i post that and then i get like i got 300 impressions on that photo compared to my other pictures most of the comments were very negative they were saying oh i haven't seen people like this you know what kind of omanis are you guys and why are you you know making this face Ayyub and all of this why is it wrong for us to express love towards each other because I'm covered when it comes to us the smallest things we do is like haram the haram police is on your case which is no good I don't think that's fair at all
So I want you guys to meet Anahi Brown. She is a health coach, wellness coach. She's also my friend. Ta-da! Hello! <laughs> and this is Matthew Brown. <laughs> He's well trained. He knows how to smile. Um, well, I'm a wellness coach. I'm a mommy uh, of two boys. Matthew is my eldest. And I basically work to empower women so they can live joyful motherhood and enjoy their life and just rock on. We met on the same note as that because we're all both about empowering. You know, it's like mm -hmm. pen. Mm -hmm. So it's two fried eggs mm -hmm. and uh, spice. And you can be very, very attractive. You can be very, very beautiful without. You can be modest. But the thing is, your... yes, a yeah. modesty it can be so beautiful because when your mother is basically what you're saying is uh, I decide how much I want to show yeah. I decide what you're gonna see and who is gonna see what I want to show and I also think that if you want to go for the conventional sexy of the shorts and the showing and stuff own it because then what happens is a lot of women do that and then when they get the unrequested messages or attention they're like oh men are disgusting okay no. some men are disgusting but when you are flaunting everything out there unfortunately our culture tells men that then they have a right i'm not saying that that's right i'm not saying that that's right but i'm saying that you need to face the consequences of your act but sexy is also the way you feel about yeah. yourself so i feel like you know i can take over the world and nothing will stop me and that is a feeling that you get from being confident you yeah know? and empower in your own skin empower in your own skin and like today i came completely without makeup and i want a camera well, no. Anything spicy. Open. Well, the cooking classes and all that. The, the most exciting, like, they're just telling her she's a double B. Do you know what a double B is? No. A bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I can work with that. Okay, good. <laughs> my lunch date at Santa Monica Bre Breakfast Club. Even though it's called that, they do have a menu that's a variety of things. They have pizzas, they have burgers, of other things, but they have eggs in everything, which is amazing because I love eggs. I had a great time catching up with Anahi. We plan to take over the world. Stay tuned for that. And the food, the burger was so nice. I would highly recommend everyone to go catch um, the Santa Monica Breakfast Club. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, so that means that's pretty good.